The objective of input-output control is to balance the flow of work by monitoring and controlling the input to and output from the work centers. The perception is that the CRP has planned the input and outputs for each work center, but that the situation needs to be monitored for variances from the plan. This could occur either because not enough work is available or problems have caused output to lag input at work centers, thus building up a backlog or queue. In any event, input-output control detects issues that, needed, uh, that need to be addressed. The input-output report, as shown in this uh, application exercise or these demonstrations that, that, that we will do together, uh, compares what occurs at a work center against what was planned. Key elements are uh, standard hours, as you can see here, uh, actual input and outputs. So here we have actual input, here we have actual outputs, here we have planned inputs, planned outputs, and we need to calculate the cumulative variance which will be the previous cumulative variance uh, plus the actual minus the planned, the same formulation here. And we need to calculate the backlog, which will be the previous backlog plus the actual uh, output minus uh, the, the actual input minus the planned uh, input here because we are in the planned backlog so the input planned input minus the uh, planned output for the actual backlog it will be the actual uh, the previous uh, backlog plus the actual input minus the actual output so if you are ready if you have you prepare your sheet we can do the calculations together let's start with the cumulative variance. The cumulative variance is the previous cumulative variance plus the actual minus the planned. Here the, the cumulative variance is minus 4. We use the same formula in the next periods. The same thing here, the cumulative variance equal uh, the previous uh, cumulative variance plus the actual output minus the planned output. The result is minus 8 and we use the same calculation for the next periods. The planned backlog. The planned backlog is the Previews planned backlog plus uh, the input, the planned input minus the planned output because the, back, the backlog is the queue, it's always the difference between the input and the output. So, and here, in this case, we used the, we accumulated it to the previous backlog. So, here we made our plan for the backlog, which will be 30 in the first week, uh, or in the first day, uh, 22, 18, 18, and 22. What's about the actual backlog? The actual backlog, we use the same. Uh, formula calculations so the previous backlog plus the input minus the output uh, the input we I have to take the actual input because now we are in the actual backlog minus the actual output so the result is 34, which can be copied, the, the formula can be copied in the next 
uh, periods. So this way you can have your planned backlog and you can compare it to the actual backlog.